We are all doing life, but who knew life could be this funny? It's Doing Life with Maria and Chad. It's our podcast. And the pressure's on. Halloween right around the corner. You got to get your costume ready to go. I have found the sexiest Halloween costumes, including, get this, the sexy murder hornet costume where you can get that (laughs) and so much more. We'll talk about that coming up on today's podcast. So I'm planning a trip, Chad, to go back to the Midwest. I'm going to my niece's wedding next July. Uh Uh-huh. And I'm actually hoping I can somehow reroute my trip and go to Milwaukee. (laughs) There is a... There's a Milwaukee hotel that has turned their bar into the Star Wars Cantina bar. Oh, really? Like, uh, I saw I saw the original Star Wars a long time ago. It's like all the weird people are inside there, right? Yeah. Well, and that's Milwaukee, so they don't need to even dress up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I love the name of the bar. It's Bar Far, Far Away, uh-huh. and it's totally Star Wars themed. And the menu items include cocktails that are obviously Star Wars inspired, the the Millennium Falcon, uh, social distancing, you have to wear masks, all that kind of stuff. But I don't know. I Does that sound like it would be a fun place to go? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I mean, I was just, well, back in the Midwest, I talked to you yesterday real briefly, but uh, we made this road trip. And I, I, did, I did the math before we started recording today. Um, why, don't you, why don't you guess? How many miles did we drive on this road trip? Ooh, I, 5,000 miles. No, you, you overbid. Uh, oh. On the way there, 1,744 miles. On the way back, we kind of took the scenic route. Uh-huh. 1,817 miles on the way wow. back. So 3,561 total miles um well did you make it up north far enough to go to milwaukee no we we didn't get into uh, no that was uh, we had done enough driving we didn't we were uh, about an hour from wisconsin as far north as we got um but i've got a bunch of photos that you can watch right now on youtube as i kind of tell you about our trip there were a few lots of highlights but i'll you know i don't want to do hey here's a slideshow of our vacation but there are some good (laughs) things that i wanted to make sure i told you on the podcast um, first of which, uh, Dan, our video producer, uh, had texted me saying, Hey, are you going through Amarillo, Texas? You got to go to Cadillac Ranch. Oh. And, and we had driven past it last December when we were on our way to Dallas. Cadillac Ranch, and you can see this right now on our YouTube channel, is uh, in the middle of nowhere, well, outside of Amarillo, Texas. Somebody decided at one point that it'd be a good idea to bury these Cadillacs that are straight up in the air. Yeah, I've seen pictures. So we pulled off there uh, and, and took some pictures. And our daughter uh, had a spray paint can. So she spray painted some of it. And we did that. So that was like one of those roadside. I mean, just kind of breaking up the monotony of driving, right? It's just something to do. Um, it's, and uh, kudos to whoever these people were. They were selling cans of spray paint, you know, right there. Because you come and you don't have that. So, you know, they gouge you for that. Right. Um, and then we moved on. We uh, visited my buddy in the Ozarks in Missouri. So we went Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, uh, Oklahoma, Missouri, Illinois, and then back through Colorado on the way back. But we stopped uh, in Missouri. This was a, a, a place in uh, on the border of Illinois and um, Missouri that I went to when I was a kid with my grandparents. So I wanted to take our daughter. It's in Hannibal, Missouri. Is that make any? Does that ring any bells? That city to you? It's the no Hannibal Lecter is the only thing I think of. Oh, <laughs> not, not that. This is Mark Twain. So Tom Sawyer oh. on the Mississippi River and all that stuff. So we climbed the lighthouse, which is there, and it was again just a reason to get out of the tr- truck for a minute. Um, we saw my parents, my wife's parents, uh, my brother-in-law, my nieces. We did all this stuff before what is supposedly going to be a bad fall and winter of COVID and icy and snowy roads. We decided to do this, you know, full on road trip. Right. Had to stop at my favorite fried chicken place, uh, Rip's Chicken in Ladd, Illinois. We did that. Um, Didn't you post a picture of that online, too? It is like the best. If I lived there, (laughs) actually, my friend lives in that town and he, he never goes there and he thinks it's gross. But like when I go once every couple of years, it's really good because I don't typically eat fried chicken, right? 
Um, right, right. And then while I was there, I was thinking as a kid, there was this rumor that with, you know, Halloween's coming up, there's a um, cemetery not far from there that Ooh. supposedly a vampire was buried in this tomb. So, mm-hmm. if, again, if you're watching on YouTube right now, you can see a picture of our daughter. I had her go up to the gravesite of this vampire, and it was just kind of, I don't, I don't know the real story. It could just be a rumor, but... Well, did you go at nighttime? It was dusk. It was, yeah, there were, okay. well, it's, it's Midwest. So there were like deer everywhere, which is something that I kind of forgot about having to worry about, you know, them jumping out in front of your car. Tons of elk we saw in Arizona on our way out of the state. Um, but one of the biggest highlights for me and just happy coincidence, it's the ideal time in that area to see the the leaves change, the fall colors. Oh, yes. And we saw different types of fall colors because we were in Illinois, we were in Kansas, and we were in Colorado. So you can see all these photos that are popping up right now on YouTube. It almost, I didn't break down and get a pumpkin spice latte, but it would have been, uh, it would have been perfect. I would have been one of those, one of those girls. Um, that would have been the capper of your whole trip. You know, fall colors, a pumpkin spice latte. I mean, that would have been perfect. When, if you were to ask our daughter, the highlight of the trip, it was, uh, our last morning when we were in Colorado Springs, we were leaving Colorado Springs and we're traveling with a puppy. We have bags and all that stuff. So we had everything in the back of my truck. It's so much stuff that I needed to make two loads. And we were on the third floor looking down on the parking lot. <laughs> so I take this luggage cart and I load it up as much as I can. And I take stuff down and I put it in the back of the truck. My wife is up in the room. My daughter's up in the room. But I told my daughter, I said, you know, open the window and just watch so nobody screws with our stuff in the time that I'm leaving the truck and getting another load. Right. Lo and behold, a, let's just say criminal, decided to try to steal our stuff. No way. So my daughter's looking out the window. I come back upstairs, you know, all in the cart, third floor, elevator, go in the room. And she's like, somebody's looking at our luggage. They pulled up right as soon as I left. She realized that there was like a spotter. They had two cars. And the guy was literally like looking at my stuff when I got to the window, which luckily I had taught her to already have it open. And I I looked at him. I took a picture of him and his license plate in case he did steal it before things went bad. And he looked up and saw me in the window and took off. Like, got back in his car. Didn't, like, speed away. Like, we were right next to this movie theater. He went over and just, like, sat there, you know, and was waiting for another person to leave their stuff unattended. It was crazy. Wow. I I don't think about stuff like that. Well, I, I did because, like, we don't have, like, a, a topper or a cover on our truck, so everything right. is exposed. I mean, literally, it was half full. So, if... This person would have stolen. They would have had my daughter's clothes, which, you know, what are they going to do with that? Uh, my clothes. And then there was some dog food in the back. I mean, it wasn't anything super valuable, but it would have been a pain, you know, and it totally by the time I would have been able to get down back down to the truck, the person would have been gone with whatever they took. took so now, um, but did she, you she say was, anything when you were up in the window? I think it was all really fast. So when he saw me, I mean, I had my camera out. I had taken a picture of his license plate. And I don't know if I said, hey, or if I just, I I didn't want to escalate the situation because I couldn't get back down there. And I didn't really know. I mean, it was all like, I don't know. I don't want him to steal our stuff. I don't know what's in there. In retrospect, I think I handled it properly. But it's one of those things like it just happened. Like all of a sudden this guy pulls up, gets out of the car and he's like, they pull up like right next to my truck. And he's looking at it, and luckily he saw me and, and ran away. Um, but, you know, she called grandma. She had to tell grandma that this happened. Like, that was like when she thinks of uh, her fall break trip, she'll, she'll remember the, the luggage almost getting stolen. Yeah, remember when that guy almost stole the truck and the luggage? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it was it was that. It, there's one more picture I want to throw up here. One place that we went. Uh, Colorado to me like if you lived there I don't think you could see all the beautiful things that are there Uh, my wife had found this place called Royal Gorge and because there was a sign there there's like this is the difference between a gorge and a canyon really there's no difference it's a different name (laughs) you know but but it's it's really beautiful and you can see the bridge in the picture and my daughter and her dog looking at the views and, and all that but 
another place. If you're from Arizona or if you're from, I mean, people listen to this podcast all over the country. So wherever you're from, if you want to check that place out, it's really cool. Royal Gorge in Colorado. But that's the gist of the trip. We made it in no car accidents. We saw some colors, leaves. I don't know. <laughs> it was it was a it was a good trip. Wow. Well, you had a great uh, week vacationing. I did stuff uh-huh. around the house. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> what, what what kind of stuff did you do? You're always like handy fixing stuff. Do you I, put your Halloween decorations out? No, we, we don't have any Halloween decorations. Um, we did, my husband, uh, hashtag cute husband, Eric, uh, mm-hmm. we did agree yeah. that we're going to redo the backyard. Uh, oh. We just need to find a landscape designer. Uh-huh. So I've talked him into that. Um, I think we're going to do something in the kitchen, like do some remodeling in the kitchen, which oh, is kind of cool. Um, yeah. But the little things that I was able to do in my daughter's bathroom, and actually our bathroom too, we decided we're going to replace all the hardware. So all the towel ro- towel bars and the towel hooks and robe hooks, all that kind of stuff. So okay. we've been looking at them online. We've been looking at Costco. And I finally made the executive decision. I bought what I wanted. Husband was okay with that. I put everything up myself. Like I drilled really? holes, I did everything, and it all looks really pretty good. The towel bar, on the other hand, I drilled the holes. I thought I measured, thought I measured correctly, did not. Right. Had to take it down, patch the holes, and then this morning I was like, "All right, I'm gonna get this damn towel bar up," and. <laughs> <laughs> What? Thank God the little, <laughs> like where the towel bar connects to the wall. Thank God that was yeah. big enough because I still had to drill three holes to make it right. Was it because it was hitting a stud or just to kind of get the right spot? Well, both. One, it was yeah. hitting a stud. And yeah. two, the drywall had been patched and fixed so many times it was just crumbling. And yeah. so when I would put the drill in, it would kind of shift. So... I don't know, but I got it up and it looks good and I'm very excited. That was my big, <laughs> my big thing. Oh, you, oh wait, one, you more, always imp- one more thing yeah. I forgot to tell you. So yeah. I have multiple hooks and they all have the same mounting hardware and I misplaced one of the mounting pieces of mounting hardware. And so I just took okay. it out of other products. So I have all these boxes open and you know, I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm not very organized. I cannot find the mounting hardware for one of my hooks. And I have looked everywhere. So I emailed the company and I said, hey, I don't even have a good excuse other than I misplaced the mounting hardware. I'm not even going to come up with something clever. Could you please send me new mounting hardware? Yeah. This morning, I get an email. Absolutely. It's on the way. It's going to be USPS. Look for it in the mail, blah, blah, blah. Oh, wow. Last night, I found the damn mounting hardware. <laughs> so you should measure them back. Just by the way, I found it. It was in the kitchen. Well, <laughs> you know? Close. Close. It was like on a stack of, I don't even know how it got there, but a stack of magazines in the living room. Like, why would I put it there? I don't know. But <laughs> I thought that was very good customer service. And I'm proud of myself that I did it all by myself. I'm fascinated by your plan to do your backyard different. I mean, your backyard's beautiful. What changes do you have in mind? Um, In the very back corner of our back, we have a pretty big lot. We have about a third of an acre. And in the very back corner, when the kids were little, it was grass. We we put a raised area for grass. Yeah. Um, Before I lost my job, before when I was making money, and now I'm not. um, Right. We killed off the grass and we were going to do some kind of sitting area up there. And then when I lost my job, we couldn't afford it. Well, now yeah. the houses in our neighborhood are selling crazy amounts of money. And my husband's like, all right, we need to do a little bit of work because when it is time to sell, we don't want to have to drop $150,000 to get our house up to par. So we're just going to well, do and it. I think that's one of the biggest mistakes that people make, too, is they do all these improvements right before they move out. Like, might as well enjoy them, you know, do stuff where you're going to be there for a while. Well, exactly. That's what I told my husband. I'm like, why are we going to wait? I mean, let's enjoy it. We're, we're not getting any younger. 
So yeah. that raised area, I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do, but we need to come up with a couple, um, we're going to call a couple landscape designers and see what they charge to actually design it for us. But the gist of it is we're going to have a big sitting area, eventually a fire pit, put some couches out there, um, and a, a walkway from the pool and the patio out to the backyard and actually do some stuff to the front yard as well. Have a little sitting area out front because, you know, I, I like my neighbors. Why not sit out front with them? And you like to go anywhere you can sit and have coffee. You'll have plenty of, you, you, each day it'll be coffee on this patio, coffee on that patio, coffee on the front patio. Hi, neighbor. That'll be Maria. You'll be doing your own podcast from your front yard. I like it. Well, and then I told my husband, I go, if we're going to be sitting out on the front patio, I go, we're going to need to get like a basset hound. Because yeah. when you sit on the front patio, you need a basset hound at your feet. <laughs> uh-huh. And your husband's response was, no Hell way. No. no more dogs. <laughs> Well, how about this? If if you win today when we play Get the Fake Out, um, you can you can buy yourself your own Basset Hound. Is that <gasps> is that a good prize? How about you buy me a Basset Hound because it'll be a gift, and then my husband can't not let me have it. It sounds like a plan. That that is a plan. Here we go. You are a liar. You are a fake. Maria and Chad present. Is this for real? Do you ever fake it? Get the fake out. That was a fake. I think I'm for real. All right, Maria. Five headlines. Today. Oh, five today. Oh, my gosh. I only wrote down four. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Five headlines. I'm taking oh, notes. All of them are true, except for one. Okay. All right. You're, you got to figure out which one, and you get a Basset Hound. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Number one. The IRS was ordered to send $100 million worth of stimulus checks to prison inmates. Okay. All right. Number two. Your taste in music depends on your parents' height. <laughs> Okay. All right. Number three. There's a sexy mail-in ballot Halloween costume. Okay. Haribo, I think I'm pronouncing that right, the people that do gummy bears. Yep. Haribo has lickable face masks that taste like their iconic gummy bears. Lickable face masks. (laughs) That doesn't sound sanitary. (laughs) And number five. A new contest is looking for America's most talented beard. Okay, so here's the deal. Here's the deal. I am getting this basset hound. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, boy. All right. All right. Well, um, I'm going to start from the bottom up. Number five, the most talented beard. Yes, I Uh heard that. And it's just you have to have a beard and do something you could play the drums in a beard and you'd be entered to win. So that one I know is true. Mm -hmm. Um, The IRS giving the prison inmates their stimulus checks. That's true as well. My husband and I were just talking about that. Okay. Um, Taste of music by your parents' height. I think your taste of music comes from your parents because that's what you grew up with. I don't know about the height or not, but I'm going to say that's true as well. Number one is true. Number two is true. Um, Sexy mail-in ballot for Halloween. I think they make sexy anything for Halloween. So I'm going to agree with that's true as well. So the lickable Uh face masks, that's just not sanitary. I'm going to say that is the story you made up. All right. Let's see if Maria's getting her basset hound. You are! (laughs) That is the right one. That's the fake headline. That's going to be awesome. What are you going to name your basset hound? Chad. <laughs> oh, so I can lay at your feet, your dream come true. Um, let's go through these stories. You you did re- really well today. Um, the IRS is giving $100 million to prison inmates. 80,000 inmates were eligible in May when those stimulus, stimulus checks came out. I'm guessing that it was like, um, you know how they have the, the prison library? Like somebody's putting themselves through law school and they're looking like, hey, we should get a check. And they raise their hand and it's like, you know, they're going to have to pay them. I don't think they should get the check, by the way. Uh, It's tough. I'm just Uh, saying. uh, Yeah. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) Your taste in music depends on your parents' height. That is real. Uh, This is a really whacked out study that I was reading. Apparently, and this just picture this. Babies with shorter parents like faster music, right? (laughs) And babies with taller parents like slower music. 
And this is what the scientists were saying. I don't even know if they're scientists. Oh, Somebody did a study. Stupid. Because... When the parents are shorter, they walk faster, right? And they hear the beat faster, so they like fast. That's how they base this study. So the little feet are moving faster, so the kid hears it. That's what they end up liking. So you you realize that money was spent on that study. Hopefully not very much. Um, (laughs) Here's a website you need to go to. It's yandy.com. They are the home of the sexy mail-in ballot Halloween costume. Um I was looking at this, and they're all very suggested, all the sexy costumes. It's a short, strapless dress that looks like a ballot envelope. And they actually have, did you see the sexy murder hornet costume? No. (laughs) They have that. They have a sexy postal worker costume and a sexy I voted costume, which is really risque. It's just covering the the breast area with Uh. a couple of stickers. Um, Like, uh, what are the pasties or whatever those things are? Oh, yeah. So they have like, oh, so pasties are the I voted today. Yeah. Thing. Okay. I'm acting like I don't know. Is that what they call those things? I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, um, right. So the new contest that you were talking about, wall grooming is the people putting on the America's Most Talented Beard Contest. It's a talent show. I mean, as long as you have a beard, any talent that you have, you can win $20,000. Holy cow. You better so, grow a beard. I I don't even know what my talent would be. Growing I mean, I, a beard. I, th- <laughs> <laughs> did, did, did you were you it, it would be ugly i i'm so patchy when i grow in a beard did you uh were you in a talent show did you ever do that like when you were growing up did you have to do like a thing i was in the um i'm almost embarrassed to say i was in the miss houghton lake pageant oh what was your talent i played piano and it was not very good <laughs> Were you wearing I voted stickers? That would be a talent. <laughs> I didn't I didn't have <laughs> boobs back then. I had to buy those when I was an adult. Uh, I played um, the yeah. entertainer, actually. Oh really? How's that go? <laughs> Did you see anybody in the audience looking at their watch going, Ooh, <laughs> This is taking forever. <laughs> it was not that is it a was talent. not good. Ugh. I'm embarrassed. All right. Let's do this. The final question this is a good one today maria okay i want you to answer i want everybody listening to our podcast and youtube and spotify and wherever else to answer this question the final question for today's podcast you can only smell one thing for the rest of your life what smell do you pick i know this i know this when you as soon as you ask the question there is nothing better then when my mom would hang the sheets outside to dry when we lived in Michigan, and that uh-huh. smell of fresh sheets air dried outside, oh, it is, it is the best. Oh, and then they're kind of crispy and cold. Oh, that's it. Did you guys hang underwear out on the line? No. Uh, well, <laughs> no, I don't think so. I don't know. Our daughter, uh, we were visiting uh, my wife's mom, so grandma, and and she lives in a very small town. And my daughter saw somebody was hanging out their underwear in that little town. So that still does exist. Um, my answer for this one, one smell for the rest of my life, and it was reinforced when I was back on vacation. You know I love pickles, and I know you hate pickles, but just the smell of that dill, I don't think I would get sick of it. Ugh. That's the smell. Dill pickles are the dill smell. So so maybe so it's not really pickles, it's dill. Dill. Yeah, the smell of dill. Well, you know that you could grow smell. that just buy a pot and throw some dill seeds in there. You could have that smell every day. Well, you know how handy I am. That that So will tell not your happen. wife that she could like get some <laughs> dill seeds and throw it in a pot and you could have that smell every day. <laughs> that is it. I will uh, pass that message along. I'll tell her, here's a new project for you. Maria passed it along. I'm buying her a basset hound, and you need to get me some dill. Um, Thanks again for listening to our podcast. Again, we're called Doing Life with Maria and Chad on Instagram. You can find us at Maria and Chad on Facebook. Search for Maria and Chad. Lots of fun conversations happening all the time on our social media. Uh, You can listen to the podcast in tons of places, and Maria is going to try to remember them all right now. Oh, no. I knew I should actually write these down. You want me to do it? I've got them here in front you of me. You go ahead. Google Podcasts. All right. Pandora. Google Podcasts is one. Uh, yep, you're jumping around on me here. Yep, pa- Pandora. Radio.com app has us now. The iHeartRadio app. Spotify. Uh, Amazon Music. Mm, uh, Stitcher. TuneIn. Podbean. 
And of course, YouTube to see all the photos and video of us doing the podcast. Maria, what do you got behind you? You got a speaker behind you there? I, as Mexican I, blanket. As I look back here, my room is a mess. Yeah. What's your sign say behind your head? Your head's in the okay, way. Okay. It, it says, says I laughed so hard, tears ran down my leg. <laughs> Uh, ah, I love it. Right there, look at right it. there. There it is. And is that uh, is that the uh, your stuffed animal you play with as a kid behind? Yeah, you? that is. That's a old fashioned Snoopy. And the artwork behind Snoopy, I did that in 1977. All right, move your head again. Ah, uh, yes, 1977. Uh -huh. Good year for kids' artwork. <laughs> it's and the sad entertainer that goes, I have my own artwork hanging up. <laughs> I'm just picturing you. With no boobs going da 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 da. da. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's our podcast. Thanks for listening. Bye, everybody. Mwah. Thanks again for listening to Doing Life with Maria and Chad. Follow us on Instagram at Maria and Chad and Facebook. You can now listen for free in all these places. The Radio.com app on the iHeartRadio app, Spotify, the Amazon Music app, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, TuneIn, Pandora, Podbean, and of course, YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss a single episode.